Hi, this is Adam, Small Town Machine Shop. And again, we're going to the lathe. Sorry, this has been all the videos lately, but I kind of need to get this done. I do have to wait, get some pulleys tomorrow, but. So I got the drum switch mounted. Now, I'm going to tell you guys a little warning about these. You can remove the guts on these pretty easily, usually. What you don't want to do, and I've seen it happen. Sorry about the shakiness there. I have seen people drill or use self joint screws and stuff with this in here and the shavings will get all in here and that's not good. So even though I took this out, there's still like grease in there and stuff. I'm gonna clean all this out and blow it all out and 100% make sure there's nothing in there. Just a little heads up for you guys. So I know it's not the best spot, but there's really not a lot of spots to mount it to. And with the cover, still hit all the gears. And it's right there at hand's reach. So it's easy. I'll run the conduit and stuff back there. What I do right now, I gotta go get a mirror and a light. Cause, like an idiot, I put the motor in there before I <laughs> made notes about the uh, wiring on the nameplate, which is, of course, on the far side of the motor right there. So, uh, yes. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm, I'm not taking that motor back out. So I'll get my mirror and get that stuff written down so we can start running our conduit. And, yeah, I'll get that going and I'll bring you back. Okay. We are back on the wiring board, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to wire the switch so you guys can learn more about this. Again, make one of these boards. It's, it's amazing. It's a good parlor trick where you impress the uh, ladies or the men. Say, bring me a motor and a drum switch, and I'll show you how to wire it. Okay, so we're going to this cover. Oh, by the way, I found out there was a sticker with it. So in this motor... We're doing a uh, higher voltage. Two and three are linked to eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, eight. The other ones go to the six and seven. We, we don't worry about. And then four and five are linked. One always gets power. So we'll always have a power lead going to one. To reverse it, we swap five and eight. So two and three will always be together. So what we'll do is we'll start with that. We'll use two. We'll go, let's put it here. Set that down for a second. There's two. We'll use You're putting them on one of the switching sides here. It has a place to go left and right. But we'll put them together because they're always together. Okay, these are my two incoming power legs. One always gets power. Now, unfortunately, with this configuration, with this particular drum switch, we cannot cut both legs. So, one of the power legs incoming because we're going to wire it for 240. Come in here, snake it down underneath here. That's just a constant. Okay. So, we got our two linked legs that are always going to be together. And we have our constant power. So now, four always gets power. On the no matter what the configuration of five and eight, four always gets power. So what we're going to do is bring our other power in to the switch side. On this particular drum switch, the bottom terminal, no matter what position, forward or reverse, is always straight across. And then we'll run a jumper from it up to the opposite here. Okay, follow me so far. Now, we'll take... Let me find a different color here. Let's go. Use this guy if it will reach. It might just reach. OK, 
it. So now when it's switched, power is always going to four. So if you switch it on right now, you'd have power to one, power to four. Okay, eight and five, we need to alternate. So what we do, we'll run one over to eight. And then for my specific motor, uh, this one needs to go there for forward. Now we'll take our other wire and go from five to the downside of right here. Uh, so it's a jumbled mess, but it's actually very good. Okay. So now we switch it forward. Power is going to four and the white wire, which is five. Eight is right here, is linked with two and three. Just like in our diagram. See, two, three, and eight. So the motor will spin. We flip. Let me find my all if I can here. Flip the switch. By the way, I am, I think it's super cool how many people have sent me messages about how they've either done this to get their wire motored uh, or their, their motor wired or have sent me questions that have helped them out. I think that's that's super cool. Okay, so now when we flip it the other way, the power is going this way. So power is going to four and eight. And now five is back where it needs to be with two and three. So that's all we have to do. So... We know between our motor and our switch, we need to run one, two, three, four, five. And that's green doesn't mean ground. I'll be separate wire, of course. So one, two, three, four, five, six, plus a ground. So we need, know we need to run seven wires between our motor and our switch to get this going. So yeah, again, keep showing you guys. If you will just do this, it, it's amazing how night and day it makes the most, you know, you look at something like that and you're like, hmm, how am I supposed to swap that but keep that a group? It's just, it's just it, I can't tell you how helpful it is. Okay, so let's go over to Switch and see what else we can do tonight. Okay, so that'll be it for the day. Got the switch wired in. That wire needs to be jumpered over to the, uh, that's going to be the constant power one going over. I got the terminal there and my ground on. I got my cord. So the next video, I need to go get a, a fitting tomorrow. Again, I film these videos the day I do the project, so. Uh, fitting to go in the bottom of there. And then I'll run all the wires down the motor. So tomorrow we'll be able to kick the motor over. Yay! Now, someone's going to say, that looks like an extension cord wire. And you know what? It is. It's a 12-gauge, very high-quality extension cord. That, that was not cheap. But when your shop's like mine... And you have to run extension or cords and stuff. It's nice if it's high visibility. I'm sure I'll get people saying you shouldn't power stuff with extension cords like that. I've been doing it for a long, long time. The key is I always use high quality cords. So it'll be fine. Don't worry. So yeah, we got the switch wired. We got our wiring figured out. So, oh, I un unmounted it to make it a lot. I blew it all out. This is, makes it a lot easier to work on. I'll still be able to wire it in. Because I'll run the wires to it and the conduit. And I'll feed everything through there. This way I don't have to fight it. So yeah, one step closer. Tomorrow we'll be able to spin this motor over. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.